Ooh, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of What Sold on eBay last week. Uh, we're back. Sales were sales were kind of slow there for a while, uh, and they they seem to pick up what like right at the right right around the weekend Easter weekend it seemed like everybody was just buying stuff. So uh, got some decent sales. Let's get right into it. You're gonna see a lot of the stuff that we that you just saw in some of the yard sale find videos. So uh, quick turnaround on a lot of this stuff, which is always good. Um, so speak of the devil, this is one of those. Um, this is the board game win, lose, or draw. I don't normally mess with board games because I just hate the idea of like having to research it and find out exactly how many of the little, you know, the little pieces of every little thing. And if there's like, especially like the ones with currency, I'm always like, but if it's missing a hundred or a twenty or whatever, just a single bill. You know, is a buyer going to get mad and try to return it? So I just don't mess with them. Uh, but this was sealed. I got it for like five bucks. Uh, sold for twenty four eighty nine after fees and everything. I really like to show you guys this stuff because it's very important. A lot of people have this idea of like they can just start selling on eBay and make all kinds of money, and it's going to be super easy. Um, I've got the perfect setup. I've got label printers for my packaging and everything. You know, where like some people still print out like on a regular printer and then tape it to the box and stuff. I've got like a legit label printer, the same stuff that like UPS and FedEx use on all their packages. Um, you know, I've got boxes in every single size you could think of on hand at any time. I've got a machine that actually does the air pockets like asthma, am, <laughs> asthma, like Amazon does and stuff like that. Maybe I'll do a video showing you guys some of that stuff. Um, you know, so I'm kind of in the perfect scenario. And I don't know how many people I've ran into that say that they used to sell on eBay, but they stopped because they couldn't handle the fees and the shipping and all that stuff. And I get it. If you're not like perfectly set up for it. Um, you know, it can be a lot. Uh, having said that, there's still room for profit. And, and, and that's what I'm going to show you. You know, at yard sale prices, at least in my area, it could be totally different. And I know in certain parts of the world, there's always people that are like, dude, we don't even have yard sales. I don't even know what a yard sale is. Uh, like over in Europe and stuff, that they're pretty uncommon. Um, but that's why I like to show this screen, because it, it breaks it all down. And it shows that, you know, some stuff just are not worth it. Um, but some stuff... If, if you can get things at the right price, you can still make a, a healthy little bit of profit. So, anyways, got this game for about five bucks, but it's big and it's bulky and it was $10 to ship it. Uh, so, all said and done, we made about five bucks. But, you know, it, it sat in my warehouse for all but of, you know, just about a week and we've got five bucks in our in our pocket. So, this next one, um, I show, I, I don't remember if I showed you guys this or not. Um... This is, oh, I sold an action figure last week, so that's what you guys already heard the story. Um, the, the makers of the Evil Dead game that just recently came out, really, really fun game, um, sent me a huge care package of a bunch of cool stuff, and I'm kind of downsizing my collection right now because I've just got so much um, that I'm running out of room, and it's kind of getting overwhelming. Uh, so I kept, like, a, a thing or two out of the box, and I, I, I was very surprised when I looked this up. Apparently, this is, like, a pretty rare uh, press kit thing. Uh, because, as you can see, it sold for $199.89, and even after fees, shipping, and all that, uh, I pocketed $160, which is, you know, I didn't have anything into it. So I, I always kind of feel bad about that, but I can only keep so much stuff, so... Uh, these are, you guys saw these in the video, um, that first stop where I got the Garfield fish tank. Um, so it would be my last, yeah, my last video. I got these, some of these vintage fishing reels. I don't, I see old fishing poles sometimes, uh, a lot of times just with no reel on it at all, or sometimes with a reel, but they usually want, you know, 15, 20 bucks or something like that. And I, I don't really know enough about it. Uh, but these, this guy had like nice, clean, vintage fishing reels um, for five bucks. And so I figured for that, you know, I, I was willing to, to buy in and kind of learn. And um, yeah, so we have a sale here, like pretty much right after I listed it, which was really nice to see. Sold for $22.89. Um, and I had $5 into it. So after shipping and everything, we still made about eight bucks, which, uh, I was not, I was not mad at at all. And now I know like out in the wild, it was more about the learning experience anyways, like I said, but now I know out in the wild, if I see vintage, uh, fishing reels that are in decent shape, you know, they're probably worth picking up at the right price. Uh, you know, cause they, from what I was researching, they seem to go for at least 20, 25 bucks. This is kind of an interesting one. Uh, not so interesting, but interesting. 
I got a message on these after I listed them, and they were like, hey, what's the deal with all the holes in these? Like, kind of like insinuating that I was trying to, like, scam people or something. And I was like, what? It's like, this guy's off his rocker. And then I got to looking, and if you might be able to see it, uh, there are holes on the center of each can. And he's like, I see this all the time on eBay. And he's like, I don't understand if people are trying to rip people off or what. And I was like, I didn't even notice that until you pointed it out. Uh, like, I was like, I'm probably just going to pull these down because I don't know enough about it. I don't know, you know, like I found them sealed, but I, I don't know. I was like, I don't know if that's there to like keep them fresh or if like a hole in a can would ruin something like shoe polish. I don't know. I've never used shoe polish in my life. Um, and then before I got a chance to take them down, they sold. And then I messaged the buyer and I was like, hey, just so you know, there's holes in these cans that were brought to my attention after I listed them. Just want to make sure that you're cool with that before I ship them out. And they never replied. Uh, so I'm just shipping them out anyways and hoping that they're okay with it. I, I don't know. Is this normal? Does anybody know shoe polish? What's going on here? Is there some crazy like shoe polish conspiracy going on on the internet? I don't know what's going on. In the worst case scenario, they message me and they're upset about the holes and I'll just refund it. So, uh, But I, I those were in a... A bulk buy i found them they weren't priced i think i paid probably like a quarter or something maybe just like a throw in item so i got four bucks out of it this calculator was in the last video uh same same sale as the shoe polish actually i missed it the first time i like walked right by it editing the footage i was like what am i doing am i like am i completely blind what happened there and then uh luckily i made like a couple laps in that in that yard or the garage sale that i was at and uh, I saw it the second time, and I was actually surprised uh, that no one picked it up because there was a lot of resellers there. It was like reseller 101, uh, the the Texas Instruments graphing calculators. Um, it had five bucks on it, and I picked it up, and it sold immediately. I cleaned it up, made sure it was graphing. Uh, that's a that pro tip. If you're listing these graphing calculators, actually graph something out and then take a picture of that people love to see that they will always sell quicker from my experience so i had five bucks into it uh after shipping and everything we had 17.37 so we made about 12 dollars uh this is a retail arbitrage uh i've told the story before that i normally do not buy anything at my local walmart i would have to go to a walmart in a neighboring city and they would always have really good um uh, uh, clearance aisle stuff. So a good clearance aisle stuff that you might be able to find retail arbitrage items. Retail arbitrage is basically just flipping uh, from a retail location. Um, would be a Walmart that has clearance items that they mark down and then if it doesn't sell like a week later they mark it down further and if it doesn't sell a week later they mark it down even further and eventually you'll find stuff like 75% off and this was kind of one of those items. I don't remember the original retail price on these uh, it was either like 40 or $60, maybe 50 I don't know. It was in that range, and they were marked down to 10 So I looked them up, saw that they were selling pretty healthily on eBay. Knew that they're like 16 inches long by like 12 or 14 inches wide. They're kind of a pain to ship, uh, but I knew I could handle it. So I picked them up at $10 each, and I, I picked up seven of them. And uh, I've already sold three of them, much to my surprise. But, but yeah, my my local Walmart used to never like I would literally find like LeBron James uh, Space Jam action figures with the head missing. Someone stole the head off of like a dozen of them, and they're on the clearance aisle, marked down like seventy five cents. It's just uh, for whatever reason, whoever was in charge of of uh, clearance at my local Walmart just was not having it, and did not care, and was not marking things down enough. But the last time we were in there and we looked, this is where we found those. So something's changed, and now i got to start checking my uh, my clearance aisle at my local Walmart. So anyways, yeah, I got these for $10. Uh, sold this one, uh, Solo Bolo, by itself after shipping and all. Uh, we still got $26 out of it. So even with like tax, I probably paid around 11 bucks a piece. Uh, so yeah, I made 15 bucks, easy peasy. And uh, I'm happy with that all day. And then shortly after that one sold, I sold two of them to the same seller. And if you guys, I mean, it's pretty common uh, since, but if you ship two of them together instead of one by itself, uh, usually you're going to save a little bit on the shipping label. And uh, not a whole lot here. It just kind of depends on where they're going and stuff. But I did save a little bit, so I profit a little bit more uh, per item on that. So after fees and everything, I had $20 into the two. Sold them for 54 so we profited just around 30 bucks. 
Uh, this was a play, a kind of another lesson in hold your ground. I had this listed uh, for quite a while. I, I've I've had these. I, I picked these up a few years ago at a yard sale. I bought a bunch of them from this uh, sweet old lady all at once. And I noticed the reason I picked them up is because you could see that John Deere tractor back there in the background. Now it doesn't officially say John Deere tractor or anything, but it's a big green combine harvester. Uh, with a red barn. It's very iconic imagery. I knew it would do well and it would eventually sell. I got a message uh, and they said, would you accept 20? And I just said, you know, sorry, but no. And normally, especially since it had been listed for a few years, I, I would have accepted that, but it's free shipping. And these things are already a little bit pricey to ship. Uh, so, you know, and people just don't think about that. They don't think like, hey, if I ask him for 20 and then he has to ship it, he's literally making like nothing off of it. But I held my ground, I said no, and then within 30 minutes or so of, of sending that message back, uh, they purchased it at full price, as you can see, $24.99. So see, yeah, here, after, um, it, it cost almost $8 to ship this little plate, um, just because they're a little bit big and bulky, you've got to have the styrofoam and stuff to protect it to keep it from breaking, it's not even super heavy, but it just, uh, you know, the, that's just how it goes. So, um, I think I had about 5 bucks into these plates, so I made about $8. Uh, then we have uh, another item that I got at a bulk buy a few years ago, back when I was yard selling pretty hard, uh, before I kind of slowed down, before the, the uh, you know, the big world event that we had. Um, I bought, this guy had a room just full of die-cast cars. I've sold most of them, but I probably still have like 15, 20 of them. If anybody's interested in die-cast cars, I've had them listed for a long time. I've been bringing the price down on all of them just to get them to sell, just to get them out of my hair. Um... I don't know. I paid decent prices on these. I probably paid five to ten dollars a piece, depending on which ones they were. He kind of, kind of knew what he had on some of them and made me pay up a little bit. But I was happy to buy them because most of them were in good shape. This one has a little bit of wear on the box. Um, but anyways, sold this to actually an international sale. Um, but uh, yeah, after fees and all that good stuff, we still got twenty bucks. I, so let's say worst case scenario, I, I, I spent ten. I don't think I did. I think I spent more like five. But we'll, we'll say I made ten or fifteen dollars on that sale. Not bad. And you may recognize this. I got two of these uh, vintage. Uh, the the citation by Johnson is what it was called. One ten B. And uh, they both sold within a week. So it's about that time of year. Everybody's on eBay looking for vintage uh, fishing items. So. Sold the other one as well. Again, had five bucks into it, made about eight dollars. Not too shabby. This is a funny one too. This is a so l l rule number six hundred and twenty-seven, I believe, of the eBay handbook that I'm writing currently. Um, I almost sold this away. This uh, sold this away. I am not awake yet. I almost threw this away. This was a part of that uh, uh, Facebook buy that you guys saw. I made a video where I picked up a, a diaper bag. What was it? It was a diaper bag, some onesies, this bottle, uh, some like blocks, some little like foam block toys, stuff like that. I got all this stuff for like super cheap. I think it was like 25 bucks. I was into all of it or something like that. This bottle was just like thrown in with the diaper bag or something. And I almost threw it away because when I was looking for comps, I really couldn't find anything. I could find one other one that was listed and it was like, in worse condition it was either used like they actually used it for a baby <laughs> or it was just like kind of gross and like not uh not kept well so it was like the graphics were kind of scratched up the the nipple was like kind of an off color it was just kind of like eh, i don't think anybody's gonna buy that i almost threw it away but i was like mine is nicer so i'm just gonna list it and, and see what happens uh 1489 free shipping and it sold and i almost threw it in the trash there's a lot of times there's some stuff that's like very obviously I just need to throw this away. No one's going to buy this. But but he, but sometimes, man, just list it, see what happens. And then if it doesn't sell, you know, then you can throw it away. Um, and, I, and I'm glad I listed this because it was an easy little sell. Easy uh, a ship. You know, it only cost me. It was first class, very light. So it only it cost me less than $4 to ship it. So we got $8.82 out of it. I don't know what I had. A couple bucks into it, probably. Something like that. So I still made at least a $5 bill. So... That's it, ladies and gentlemen. That's what sold on eBay last week. Make sure you guys ring that bell so you get notifications when I upload these videos. Uh, I appreciate it if you leave a comment and uh, like. You know, all that stuff juices the algorithm, helps me out a lot. I love you. 
I'll see you on the next one. We got a we got a nice. Uh, I had I got some cool finds at the last yard sale. I my biggest buy of the year. I spent over five hundred dollars on a lot of uh, some really cool vintage items. I won't I won't spoil too much, but look forward to that video Friday. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.